In this video, we're going to show you how to replace a front lower control arm with ball joint on your Subaru Outback. This will be located behind the front wheel. Let's get started. Using a 19 millimeter socket, remove the five lug nuts. Remove the wheel. Using a 14 millimeter socket, we're going to remove the pinch bolt for the ball joint. In the rust belt states, there is a high chance of this bolt breaking. Take your time, use rust penetrant, just be very careful. Using an 18 millimeter wrench to hold the stud, use an 18 millimeter socket to remove the nut off of the sway bar link. Pull the sway bar link out of the knuckle. We're gonna use a small chisel and put it in where the ball joint is. We're gonna use this chisel to open the gap and try to put less pressure on the ball joint so we can pull it out easier. At this point, you should be able to take a pry bar, and if your car isn't super rusty, you should be able to pry down on this ball joint, and it should pop out. Ours is extremely stuck in there, so we're gonna take some extra steps and use a special tool to pull this ball joint out. Remove the cotter pin for the ball joint. Using a 19 millimeter socket, remove the ball joint nut. We're gonna use a pry bar with a hook and pull down. If that doesn't work, you can try going in between again. Just like that. Pull the ball joint stud away from the control arm. Using two 19 millimeters, remove the rear bolt and nut for the control arm. Using two 17 millimeter wrenches, we're gonna remove the front nut and bolt for the control arm. <laughs> remove the nut. Remove the bolt. Remove the old control arm. We're gonna reinstall our chisel. Install the nut back onto the ball joint. You can see ours is almost ready to pop out. It's just stuck on something. Using a large pair of pliers, we're gonna grab onto that nut. And we're just gonna give our wrench a tap. Continue tapping and eventually the ball joint will come out. Using a wire brush, we're gonna clean inside of the ball joint cup. Remove the punch. Before reinstalling, we're gonna take our bolts to a wire wheel and clean them up. Install the control arm into the rear bushing first. Get the rear bolt started. I'm gonna put the nut on just a few threads. Using a small pry bar, we're gonna help the front bushing into the spot. Get the sway bar link started through the control arm. We're gonna use a soft face hammer to help us install the front bushing. 
install the front bolt for the control arm. We're going to tap the bolt through. Get the nut started. We're going to use a pair of pliers to help us line up the ball joint with the cup. Using a pry bar to push down on the control arm to help me. Install the ball joint into the cup. Try and get it as square as possible. Using a soft face hammer, we're going to tap it in. Get it fully seated. Install the lock washer onto the new bolt. I have a bit of copper anti-seize on mine. Install it into the knuckle. Get it started. Using a 13 millimeter socket, snug down the bolt. Torque the ball joint bolt to 37 foot pounds. Snug down the control arm bolts, but do not make them tight. Install the nut for the sway bar link. Hold the stud with a wrench and snug down the nut. Torque the sway bar link nut to 44 foot pounds. We're going to use a jack with a rubber bushing and we're going to jack this suspension up to act like it has the load of the car on it. When you torque these control arms, you want the control arm to have a full load on it. If you torque it and then put it on the ground, it'll pull the bushings the wrong way and they'll have premature wear. Get it to where it would sit on the ground, right about there. Maybe a little bit more. Hold the front nut while torquing the bolt to 70 foot-pounds. If you can't get a torque wrench on it, do the best you can. Torque the rear control arm bolt to 103 foot-pounds. Make sure you hold the nut while doing this. Remove the jack out from under the control arm. Remove the rubber bushing if you used one. We used this so we didn't damage our castle nut. Install the wheel. Get the lug nut started. Snug them down. Torque the wheels to 90 foot-pounds in a star pattern. good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ.
the only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.